preparing to race into the record books. Luca Ferrari and his crew are about to take a very special time trial here in Venice, one that's dedicated to electric boats. Yeah, I have raced uh, a lot, uh, many years, uh, with, uh, with the petrol engines uh, in class one, uh, at very high speed, but the acceleration of the electric motor is unbelievable. Seven and a half seconds from zero to 50 knots. It's like a rocket. It's not just the speed of electric boats that makes them so attractive to Venice. For 1600 years, this city has flourished around water transport, but it's also a city that's especially vulnerable to the effects of climate change. No wonder this year's boat show here is giving pride of place to electric power. Venice is built on water. Everything that moves around Venice, it moves on boats and on water. So Venice has to show up as the city example for the entire world. And this is what we're trying to do here, to showcase the new possible technologies, the rechargeable uh, technology with partners that we have here. Um, the boat itself are not enough. We need partners, we need a rechargeable station, we need infrastructure. And the role of ABB is very fundamental for us. As with electric cars, much depends on the charging infrastructure. ABB, which has a wealth of expertise, not only in road charging, but also in onboard electrification and shorter ship charging for larger vessels, is perfectly positioned to drive this growing market. Now we are, we are, we are seeing a new transition. So the new transition is on the electric side, on the electric economy, on the you know, sustainable economy. And we, we have a lot of solutions of that. We have a solution on batteries, we have a solution on fuel cells, and we are combining them in a, in a propulsion systems and distribution, electric distribution systems, giving to our customer the best luxury silence experience. And we go green in Rome, and it's a lot of and as ABB Formula E has shown, electric transport can be thrillingly fast, as Luca and his team at Anvera are about to prove. Timing conditions today didn't allow for an official record to be set, but they did clock up a top speed of 92.4 kilometers an hour. That's faster than the previous speed record. And they say as the technology of this industry continues to make strides, electric vehicles on land or at sea will only get faster, cleaner and more sustainable in the future.